it's the best standard in the world and it's the easiest one. There's two separate companies, they don't talk to each other. All they do is they go to the book, see what the standard is, and they conform to it. And the first person who, who sends me one, I'll, I'll, I'll send them a book free of charge. The moment you hear an acronym in the hydraulics business, you should think of one thing, and it's a standard. And the standards are so that different manufacturers can still interact with each other. For instance, Parker made this pump, same with this pump as well. But they might not necessarily make what this attached to. An example of that would be like this coupler or a coupling half. That means that this is a different manufacturer from Parker. So let's say they need the coupler for this pump. Well, then they would need to have the complete drawing of this. And the drawings for what looks to be a fairly simple geometric surface is actually extremely complex. But now, so SAE, so who are these guys? Society of Automotive Engineers. And I had somebody say to me, well, I mean, we're all going to sort of metric anyways. We're not, because the SAE is such a good standard. It's the best standard in the world, and it's the easiest one. Let's take a look at it. What it does is it specifies this pilot here, also called a, a spigot, the flange, so, so the, the mounting bolts on here, and then this shaft. And you wouldn't believe how complicated it is to describe this shaft. There has been times where it said that it was an SAE, but it didn't actually conform to it. And then the coupling slipped out and the pump stopped working. That has happened. On here though, what you have is you could say SAED four bolt splined. That specifies the bolt pattern here, this six inch diameter pilot and this 13 tooth shaft okay so this should read 1.75 and i was reading 1.725 which is a little strange to me i wonder if this is a little worn out or if it just maybe sort of depends but anyways we know 1.75 it's sae standard don't try to measure it in millimeters i think it comes to 44 or something and then this should come to six inch pilot, okay? And it's a very common standard. And no matter what the metric seems to be, this is here to stay. So what we're seeing is a lot of what would be a metric pump with all the connections. So these threads and all that here have metric threads. We're still seeing that they'll use the SAE mounted flange. So OEMs, OEMs being people who make equipment, John Deere, Caterpillar, those are the biggest OEMs in the world. They love the SAE standard. They'll go metric everything else, but the shaft, pilot, and the mounting flange, they stay SAE. Now what happens when you get away from that SAE? Then you start ending up with funky stuff like this. This here is a Bravini motor. You start ending up with, with specials such as this, and you'll see those commonly on motors. Here's another set. This is like a, a plug-in, typically because they're really tight on space. So they come up with something that's maybe a little bit unconventional. Uh, this is still standard though, this plug-in. So the SAE is American. Most of the world likes to go to their sort of metric. And a lot of the American stuff is going that direction as well, except for this one here. Now there is other kind of metric or what, uh, sometimes I feel like people in North America just call anything European, they'll call it metric. There is something like DIN, and DIN is the German standards, but it's kind of on its way out. That one's being replaced by ISO. If you really wanna know your stuff, the best thing to do is to buy a lightning reference handbook. You can get these online, I think they're about $50. Honestly, I have an extra one, so if you really want it, uh, send me an email to uh, sales at Lefko Hydraulics, and the first person who, who sends me one, I'll, I'll, I'll send them a book, free of charge. Now, what's also great about the SAE system is that it's really easy to actually just look at it and recognize. So here we have SAEB, two bolt mount, with a keyed shaft underneath, and 
this, the shaft could be an SAE B shaft or it could be a different shaft, but typically you'll see with an SAE B pilot. So four inch pilot, typically you'll see an SAE B or BB shaft. And so what they do is they start at A and they go up to F in sizes. So this is, would be one of the smaller ones. And then here we see one of the larger ones, SAEC four bolt, and SAEC would be a five inch pilot. And then this has got a spline shaft and typically you would see an SAEC shaft, which is slightly larger than this one. So if I was to go like this here, uh, SAEC should be inch and a quarter. Yep. And 14 tooth. And then you got the SAED, which goes to a six inch pilot and inch and three quarter shaft. So it just keeps going up in size as the letters get larger. 99% of all pumps are between the A and D sizes. So this is what it would connect to. The, a pump would connect to for its pilot and the mounting flange. This has nothing to do with the shaft, really. It has the, a two bolt mount and it has the four bolt mount. So all four of these would be used. You can take a four bolt and go diagonal and that would be on the SAD. So it can handle both a two and a four bolt, which is pretty great. So this would connect electric motor on this side, which also has got its own standards, pump on this side, and there'd be a shaft that goes through here. Now we know that this is the SAB pump. So let's take a look. Nice, snug fit. Why are standards important? This pump is made by Parker. This is made by, it says Vescor on it, which is now LDI. There's two separate companies. They don't talk to each other. All they do is they go to the book, see what the standard is, and they conform to it. And it will work every single time as long as everybody plays by the rules. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a like and a comment, and let us know what you want to see next.